Awakening Your Everyday Wisdom, video number four, energy. Surely we all need to take care of our bodies in order to have healthy, happy lives. You've got enough wisdom to take care of your family and all of your surroundings, yourself, even though things could be a little confusing in the food industry and some of the messages we're getting from pharmaceutical information, but you do have the wisdom to sort that out. A whole nother energy issue is the global energy issue. Here again, you can do the research and make conclusions about what you think is going on. Personally, I think we all need to dig into these topics as deeply as we can. Before going any further on this topic, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm a light worker. I'm somebody who has a meditation practice of sending light and love to the whole world. I'm also a seeker. That means I don't subscribe to any particular religion, but I do seek divine truth in many places. My role in, in producing and publishing this video is to be a fellow traveler. I'm here to support people who are undergoing awakening and are a little confused maybe about what's going on. If you are feeling restless, you're not quite sure how things are going, this video is designed to support you. So let's take a look at the ideas and some of the questions I'll be exploring. We'll first start with some definitions to get a grounding. What is energy? We'll look at earth energy and cosmic energy. We'll take a look at peak oil because that's a big deal in our planet, uh, on oil energy, fossil fuel energy. And we'll also look at free energy. What exactly does that mean? So let's dig in with some definitions here from the Cambridge Dictionary. Energy is the power and ability to be physically and mentally active. It's the power from something like electricity or oil that can produce light, heat, or motion. According to Collins Dictionary, it's determination and enthusiasm about doing things. The effort and attention you direct toward a particular aim one of the questions I've had is, what is energy made of? Where does it come from? And there are a lot of interesting articles on the internet about this, if you can look them up. One I like in particular was written by Manuel Berger, Master Physics, at the Free University of Brussels. I'll quote a few paragraphs, and I also will have the link to this article in the references section at the end of the video. So here's the quote. We cannot say that energy is made of something. Energy is a property of everything that exists. A photon has energy, and energy can be transferred from one billiard bar to another when they hit each other. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transformed from kinetic energy, say of waterfalls, into electric energy, and then to heat, or again, to kinetic energy, using an electrical engine or to potential energy, and so forth. So energy is not made of something, but can be transformed into very different forms. Sounds pretty interesting. Earth energy. Earth energy is typically considered to be geothermal energy, either hot or cold. The Gaia hypothesis, according to Wikipedia, proposes that living organisms interact with their inorganic surroundings on Earth to form a synergistic and self-regulating complex system that helps to maintain and perpetuate the conditions for life on the planet. That's a mouthful. Basically what it means is we're connected to Earth and Earth provides us what we need to sustain life. It's a beautiful cycle according to the Gaia hypothesis. It seems safe to say that scientists have agreed that there's an electromagnetic field surrounding Earth, and scientific discoveries also indicate that humans have an electromagnetic field around us. So we're connected to Earth energy in many ways that most of us don't really pay attention to. We have an interdependency on Earth, on the electromagnetic source, and the field surrounding Earth. I suggest checking out the Native American 
beliefs if you really want to deepen your connection to Mother Earth. I think they have a lot of wisdom to share. So now what about cosmic energy? Basically, cosmic energy is negative ions. According to Pandu, and I'll put this in the references also, is the author of a book on cosmic energy in health and medicine. According to him, humans feel more mentally alert in high negative ion environments, such as being on a hilltop or in a forest, the countryside. This is probably why we usually feel uplifted when we've been out in nature. The Chopra Center and other resources have information on cosmic consciousness and how we can access cosmic energy to help lift our consciousness. So now free energy. My wake up call came when I watched a documentary called Free Energy. The race to zero point got my attention. What are we talking about here? So there are other resources on this topic, but this one really stuck with me. According to Aaron Walla, who published an article on the Collective Evolution website, January, 2018, the term free energy refers to a system that generates power by taking energy from an unlimited source. Free energy is power generated that is free from the constraints of wind, solar, or oil, and can produce energy 24 seven for an infinite time without worrying about running out. This really got my attention. What the heck is this stuff? But the folks in charge of the purse strings and the oil and gas industries don't want such inventions to be funded and produced. That's one of our stumbling blocks right now. The profit motive is probably a big clue. We need to look into this more closely. This particular video showed lots of inventions that can work off of free energy. Very little cost, like minute amount of cost, of these machines that everybody could have in their home that would run all the energy needs off of their home, own home forever. It's like, whoa, it's mind blowing. I really recommend some research into it. Let's talk about peak oil. I feel confident that most of us have heard of peak oil, but maybe not. It's not in mainstream news too much. According to a BBC documentary released in 2017 called There's No Tomorrow, peak oil and climate change. 54 of the 65 major oil producing nations have already peaked in production. Many others are expected to follow in the very near future. Once this happens, the demand for oil will outstrip the supply. We're so dependent on oil and other fossil fuels I think we need to be in red alert over this. Even a small disruption in our supply of oil can have far reaching negative effects on every aspect of our lives. And yet we're kind of ignoring it. So let's awaken to this whole situation. If this data is correct, and I always have to say if, because I never know exactly what to listen to, but if it's correct, global natural gas production may peak around 2030. That's 11 years from now. And global coal production may peak before 2040. Why am I telling you this? Obviously it's because I'm very concerned and I think all of us need to be concerned about this. Imagining life without oil is almost unimaginable. All of society would break down except for those who are living off the grid right now. They've opted not to have modern conveniences in life. They may be our only survivors of this. So I want to believe that human ingenuity will come up with a way to replace fossil fuels just in time to save our planet and save humanity. But what is it going to take? Do we need to be activists? Up until now, I've been mute on the subject. But I think we need to take it seriously enough. And I think that a lot of papers have been written about it that are being ignored. We need to study them. That's what I think. So, you know, global warming. Ah, it's become such a political battlefield. Some conspiracy theorists 
think that the focus on climate change is intentional to divert our attention from the real problem, which is the fact that we're about to run out of oil, to put humanity in a vulnerable position to be dominated, since we depend on oil for everything. Maybe, maybe not. The bottom line for me is this. I think we need to have safe, affordable, clean, renewable, accessible energy for everyone on our planet. Free energy would be delightful. How we could go about this may be very complex, but at least we could start with a vision. So if you're feeling the strain of life, remember you can strengthen and expand your personal energy. And if you're inclined to tap into the issues on global energy, you have all the wisdom you need. Take care. like this video and found it useful, please click the like button. And if you'd like to be involved in future videos that I'm producing, please click the subscribe button. And if you have friends or family that you think might benefit from the video, I'd love it if you'd share it. Thank you. If you'd like to access the self-assessments and handout on my website, please visit www.still-waters.net and go to the resources tab and there you will find the self-assessments and the handouts and also the references for the various videos. I'd love your feedback. I have a blog on my website. I'd love to hear what you think, what your experiences are. And even if you have contrary ideas to what I've presented, I'm open. I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything. We're all in this together and I'm a fellow traveler. Peace.